warned against the government implementation of policies that exacerbate the predicament of Ghanaians. According to him, decisions must be taken with empathy and an understanding of the impact of the actions on the lives of the citizens in this economic downtown. He has thus urged policymakers not to make policies that would exacerbate the current struggles the citizens are facing. Mr. Jonah, giving an address during a graduation ceremony at the University of Cape Coast, said policymakers must listen more in such difficult times and speak less. His concerns follow Parliament's passage of new revenue measures, the Income Tax Amendment Bill, the Exercise Duty Amendment Bill, and the Growth and Sustainability Amendment Bill. According to him, Decisions must be taken with empathy and an understanding of the impact of our actions on the lives of our citizens in this economic downtown. We are facing unprecedented times against the backdrop of complex, volatile and uncertain economic and geopolitical developments. This situation, Mr. Chairman, has fostered a growing sense of hopelessness and helplessness, particularly amongst our youth a development which has the potential to undermine the security and stability of our nation. Our economic situation is very, very challenging to say the least. Interest rates are intolerably high, and a combination of that with high inflation and a volatile currency make for a very dangerous cocktail indeed. As we have been witnessing, there are no pretty policy choices for dealing with this situation. This is not the time for blame gaming. We need to focus on a constructive spirit to get us out of the difficulty we find ourselves in. My humble advice to key policymakers is that the times that we live in call for a very healthy dose of humility in decision making as we navigate the difficult path of economic restructuring. Sam Jonah also advised that Ghanaians come together to face these challenges head on and foster a spirit of unity, resilience and determination to work collectively to create opportunities for the youth in particular to be able to build a future that is filled with promise and prosperity. He said it was time for the government to be circumspect in rolling out policies. Coming up again this morning, we have for you the Cyber Security Authority has cautioned the general public to exercise caution and due diligence during their online activities this Easter. Well, do stay with us.